Coach, thrilling win in uh, four overtimes. First four overtime game for the program. I know you like first, but to get out of here with a win, how satisfying is it? Uh, it's very satisfying to, uh, you know, I've never been a part of a game quite like that. And um, truthfully, let's just start by, first of all, Jimmy Wilder passed away in this state. And uh, man, that guy's a legend to high school football here. Our prayers are with his family. He uh, was one of the kindest men uh, I, I've ever known. And uh, secondly, um, our team showed a ton of grit, and I did not coach them well tonight. And, um, you know, made some good calls at times, but certainly uh, feel like we didn't play as disciplined football as I'm used to, and I've got to get that corrected. But can't say enough about our grit, our fight, kids making plays. Obviously, it was a shock to us to lose Charlie on the first possession. Hate that for him, all that he's been through to prepare for this, this moment. That's one of the toughest things about coaching. But it happened, and, uh, man, props to JB for doing some good things, and obviously for Caden uh, doing some nice things also. And obviously, we got a lot that we can improve on, but it feels really good to leave here with a win. Also say to, uh, man, I told everybody that would listen, I had this feeling that uh, this team was going to be one of the more improved teams. And I know they are defensively, offensively. I think they're still searching at quarterback. And that, not sure how that'll play out, but I want to tell you defensively, you watch what I'm telling you, they'll be one of the top defensive units in the country. And Will and his staff, congratulations to them. And I know it hurts, but uh, they've already taken leaps and bounds steps of improvement from last year, and I'm pulling for those guys. You told everyone in preseason that you thought you had four guys that you could play with at quarterback out there. You had to use three of them tonight for Caden Salter to go out there. How impressed were you with him and his performance to lead this team back? Well, K. Salt has uh, always done good things in practice, and, and truthfully, um, it was just, you know, physically he's gifted. It's just mentally he's still learning. He's young, and he's still learning the system. And even tonight, you know, called a few protections wrong. The guy's in trouble, tried to force the ball down there. But you also see the other side of that, that the guy can make a lot of dynamic plays. And uh, obviously, we're very uh, happy he's, he's with us and probably don't win the game tonight without him. Um, now we've got to go coach him and, and get him better. and and you know, hopefully get a package that he totally understands where we're, we're in the right protections and we're doing the right things at the snap. And uh, that hurt us a little bit, hurt us in overtime down here pretty bad. And, but, you know, we hadn't shown him that look. And, you know, I should have called a timeout. That's the things that I'm saying I didn't – I should have called a timeout. And, and well, for him to be the third guy, you know, not getting a lot of reps in practice – to get this. Yeah, you can't say enough about him. I mean, I don't think we win the game without him. And I'm telling you, I have confidence that Nate could go in and do good things too. And as I do with JB. And uh, tonight, you know, Kay Salt just, uh, you know, showed we needed an athletic guy because we were struggling to block their front. And, um, you know, he gave us that mobility we needed. What did the doctors tell you about Charlie Brewer? You know, I don't want to say uh, I know it's a fracture of some type. But we, I haven't had – conversations yet enough to really speak intelligently about it. Your defensive line, I mean, I guess the fourth overtime is the prime example of them making stops there at the line, go back the first quarter, three straight inside the one, yeah. uh, force a yeah. fumble inside the five in the second half. And what can you say with the way, what they were able to do? Well, they got turnovers. The game shouldn't have been as close um, the way they played. Now, they did, we did some crazy things over there, too. And some of the pass interferences, we got to coach better. We're in position, and we're just not playing the ball at all, and we've got to get that fixed. But you can't say enough about the way our D-line. They probably played too many snaps. I don't know what the play count was, um, but I felt like I had to need to go a little faster to try to move the ball on that front. And so, um, but you can't say enough about the way our defense played. Last one. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks, Stingray. Let me just go ahead and ask you real quick, what's, uh, what positive can you take away from this game moving forward, please? Uh, we won. Yeah. You know, bottom line, you know, whether you whether you have zero turnovers or five turnovers, a win gets us. Our ultimate goal is to be bowl eligible again in year four. We have a very difficult schedule. And, um, 
you know, this puts us one step closer to that against a really quality defense. And um, we got to get ready for another tough one. Our schedule is rough. And um, sure feels a lot better, though, knowing we can grind. And I loved our staff. Our staff never really got rattled. We just kept talking about things we could do. And um, to find a way to fight and win on the road is gratifying.